single believer faces the opposition of apostasy every day. What is apostasy? The turning away from the faith. Right. So every day that I wake up, I face a decision. Yes. Either I am going to, watch this, I am going to defect from the kingdom and its culture, or I am going to grab a hold of perseverance and remain quarantined in Christ. Amen. And so every day that I wake up now, I have a decision to make because I, as a believer in Christ, the ultimate uh, spirit in the world, the creator of the world, being in him, I still am not exempt from anything. Amen. And so therefore, every day that I wake up, before my feet hit the ground, the question that is staring me in the face, eyeball to eyeball, is what will you do today? My God. Mm -hmm. Will you turn and defect and run out of my camp into the camp? <laughs> uh, to, uh, into the enemy's camp? That's right. Or will you grab hold of the gift and the spirit of perseverance <laughs> and endure? My God. Jesus. Yes. And so understand this then um, that. We see that perseverance takes several things. Let me give you six quick things. Number one, perseverance takes purging. Yes. yes. It takes purging. Number two, it takes pruning. My, my. Number three, it takes patience. And number four, it takes a change of perspective. Mm -hmm. That if we're really going to persevere, it takes us changing our perspective. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Number five, it takes submission to the process. Yes. Perseverance takes submission to the process. Yes. And then number six, that uh, perseverance now uh, is the adherence to divine protocol. See what I'm saying? We have to adhere to the divine protocol of what God is saying, not what you're saying. Right. Right, amen. right, right. We have to submit, and we have to submit, number one, to the process, and we have to adhere to the protocol, Ooh. to the divine protocol and systems of God, not the systems that you made up so that you can feel better about what you do, what you do. Right. Right, sir. But you gotta be purged. You gotta be pruned. You got to have patience. You have got to get to a place where God starves you, so that your perception and your perspective begin to shift. Yes, God. Otherwise, you're gonna continue moving right on, doing the same 